When I began um, my journey back in 1983, one of the first things I looked into were all of the books on high speed maths. And, and so I looked into Trachtenberg mathematics, I looked into Vedic mathematics, I read the, all of the books on, on, the, on the 16 sutras of calculation. But I have to be truthful to you, they didn't give me what I was looking for. I was still confused by the principles, the actual definitions of the basic operations. The multiplication definition is actually broken, has been for hundreds of years. The concepts of negative numbers and positive numbers, those conflicts that have been around um, basically since the ninth century, those conflicts weren't resolved by Vedic mathematics. So I wasn't, and look, I practiced Vedic mathematics, don't get me wrong. I enjoyed learning it and I was able to multiply two 10 digit numbers together in my head. But here's the point. I didn't feel any genuine insight come to me that I had found what I was looking for. So I started off at Vedic mathematics 37 years ago and then I kept looking. So what I've done now is I've come full circle. I've come back to the, math the Sanskrit mathematics, the shlokas of India. And what I now do is I provide all of the foundations that are missing before the Vedic mathematics curricula really kicks in. So at the moment, the reputation of Vedic mathematics is unfortunate because it's mainly focused on the, the, the high speed tricks and you often see 98 multiplied by 99 or whatever it may all be in, in video clips. They often disparagingly call it magic. What I'm doing is I'm laying all the conceptual foundations down first. So from grade one, children at the age of about six years of age will start to play with positive and negative numbers. They won't necessarily know it. They'll be doing games that are actually consistent with the logic that India created. 